again this noon with that breaking news. It's coming out of Windermere. Police have just released fresh information about an investigation involving several women they're trying to find at this point. Let's get straight to News 6 reporter Eric Sandoval, who is following all of the breaking developments with this case. So, Eric, what have you learned? Well, David, Windermere police released nine pictures yesterday. They were hoping to identify the women who were in them. This morning, investigators tell me they have identified six of them. That leaves three more they're still trying to track down. Let's take a look at them right now. Police tell News 6 the faces you see here were grabbed from videos they found that were recorded anywhere between 2008 and 2012. As you can see here, all of them were sleeping, possibly passed out. Windermere police say they want to find these women and make sure that they're okay. Now, these photos are similar to other pictures that police gave us back in April. That's when they searched the home of this man, Windermere resident Daryl Patterson. A woman claimed Patterson gave her something that made her feel woozy and then tried to attack her. That case is still open today. Now, I asked Windermere police this morning if these pictures are connected to Patterson's case. They wouldn't tell me, but they did say that they're investigating any possibility at this point. We're going to keep tracking more developments this afternoon, and we're going to bring you to them beginning on News 6 at 4. David? A lot going on with that story, Eric. Thank you.